there guys we are back with part two so at this point if you followed part one you should have a large sheet of paper that has been folded in half and you have a symmetrical leaf design on both sides mrs spearman is going to be looking for at least three large leaves and then smaller leaves to fill in the white spots and if you chose, you could have filled up even more of the white with some different types of lines to fill in that space. So once you have that symmetrical de design, it is time to start adding color. And if you look at the Google Slides, there should be a, um, a color wheel for you to look at, but we are referring to the color wheel that we have here in the art room. And you are going to be choosing a set of analogous colors. Analogous colors are colors that are neighbor colors on the color wheel. So I can look at it in a few different ways. I could look, I could start at yellow and I could go yellow, orange, red for our three main colors, our six large color, I'm sorry, our three large colors there. Or I can go even more in depth and I can use the intermediate colors in between and I could go yellow, yellow, orange, orange, red, orange, and red. So you'll either choose three or five colors from the color wheel. You can start anywhere. You could go orange, red, and violet, orange, red, orange, red, red, violet, and violet. Um, but a lot of times the kids and myself included, we tend to stick to either the warm colors or the cool colors. And that kind of helps, you know, mix the colors better excuse me it is the end of the day here I have like my three o'clock yawn excuse me so you can use crayons will work just fine I like oil pastels personally so I'm going to use oil pastels for this and I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can go about putting the colors onto your leaves so Whatever you decide, I do want you to remember that this is a symmetrical des design. So if you use three colors here in one way, you need to do the same thing here. So I'm gonna pick out my analogous colors. I'm going with yellow, yellow, orange, orange, and red, orange for right now. I could, go, I could use more. I could break it down to three and only use three. But here's one way you can start adding color. I recommend coloring in an up and down stroke. So if I'm starting with my first color, I'm going up and down in this leaf on one end. So I finish with my first color and then I'm ready to move on to my second. When I add my second color, I'm also going to go in an up and down motion. So what's happening is my first color and my second color are blending here where they meet. I'm gonna keep going and I'm going to use my third color. I'm trying to space it out evenly. I probably should have made my yellow a little thicker um, now that I'm looking back on it, but that's okay as long as my next leaf is the same. So my up and down strokes, they're overlapping here just a smidge and then my last color will be my red orange. So when I'm using my analogous colors, I'm being careful to use them in order so that when I do blend them over top of each other, they mix really nicely, okay? So that's one way to fill in a leaf. Now I would do the same thing over here in the same exact order. You can always go back in with your lighter color and you can blend them even more. So I'm taking my yellow and going over top of my yellow orange and that's blending really beautifully. I can do the same thing here with my yellow orange. One thing that we don't do in school, but if you have it at home, you can certainly try it at home. Another way to blend oil pastels is with baby oil. You can take a little baby oil on, an, on a Q-tip and you can blend those colors together with that if you wanna try it. So that's way number one. Um, another way that you can blend colors is to do a contour. I'm gonna just do it on this small leaf here. But I'm going to, let's see, I'm gonna start with my darkest color and I'm going to go around the outside of my leaf. Then I'm gonna go in with my 
next color and I'm just following the curve of this leaf but I'm also overlapping as I do it so all those colors have overlapped a little bit it's a little bit more noticeable if you do it in a larger leaf um, some other things that you can do, and I'll do it again with a small leaf so I can do it quickly. Another thing you can do is you can outline the vein lines with one color, and then you can go next to it with your other color and follow the outline of those vein lines. That's a little trickier. Um, takes a little bit more concentration and a little bit more time, but all those colors end up looking really nice and blended. Okay, just fill in those white spots with all of your leaves. So, couple so here's your reminders. Number 1, you're choosing 3 or 4 or even 5 analogous colors from your color wheel. And those are the ones that you're going to stick to for all of your leaves. Okay? Number 2, as you're working Whatever you do on the left-hand side is going to be done the same exact way on the right-hand side. They need to be mirror images, symmetrical, okay? And number three, make sure you fill in all of the white spots of your leaf. So whether you're using crayons or oil pastels, do press hard and do fill in the white space. Crayons will work just as well. You might just need to press a little bit harder, okay? Um, I guess that's it for part number two. I'll be back with part number three.